Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you are well. Today's tutorial is going to cover a bit more of a fancier pedal wrap. Our wrap consists out of three parts. So we have the part with the stars. We have a part that is woven. And finally, a partial Spanish hitching part. Transitions between our techniques, as well as the start and the end of our wrap, are decorated using Turk's head knots. The pedal itself here at the bottom is finally decorated using a small flat knot. So that's our project for today. Let's get into it. When starting a project like this, I first set up a work surface. I want something obstacle free and quite soft to prevent scratching or denting the wood. Since this is mostly a decorative project, details like this do matter. Next, we're going to need a pedal to wrap. In this case, I'm going to be using a 3 foot long pedal, so it is 90 centimeters long, and the handle, so the covering surface, is a foot and 8 inches long, so 50 centimeters. The diameter of the handle is an inch, so 2.5 centimeters. For our wrap, we're going to need two colors of cord. I'm going to address specific cord lengths when I'm doing a technique. So when I'm wrapping, tying a knot, doing any sort of work, you're going to know how much cord you're going to need. A bunch of small nails and a hammer are going to be used to tack down our cords to secure them onto the pedal. These here are about 3 eighths of an inch long, so about a centimeter. A lacing needle is super useful for this project. Mostly for the triaxle weave, so the star pattern and the Turk's head knots. A rubber band is sometimes useful for holding our paracord. A bit of electrical tape can come in handy for temporarily holding your cords while you place on decorative knots. Finally, scissors and a lighter are going to help us cut and melt our paracord. To start our project, we're going to attach a rubber band onto our handle. Take a gutted piece of paracord 26 to 27 feet long. Attach it onto the very top of your handle. After attaching our cord onto the pedal, we're going to start to loosely wrap around up to about the middle point of our handle. So simply wrap around, doing it loosely,
then tuck your cord under the rubber band at about the middle point of your handle. I continue by attaching three additional pieces of gutted paracord of a different color, each strand is 8 feet long. We can now begin our partial Spanish hatching. For the Spanish hatching, we're going to be attaching our three cords onto our wrapping cords row after row. We start with our first row here, attach our first cord. like this. Then the second cord and our final cord. So that's our first row. Tighten up the row first, so the cord wrapping around your handle, then tighten up your cords. Continue to the next row, your first cord. your second cord and the last of your cords again attaches onto your second row. Like this. Again, start by tightening up your second row, so the cord wrapping around your handle. Then, tighten up your previous row by pulling on these parts here. Then, tighten up your second row. Continue with the next row, attach your first cord, the second cord, and your final cord. It. 
Again, first tighten up your row, so the cord wrapping around your pedal. Then, pull on these parts here to tighten up the previous row. Then, tighten up your current row. Continue the same way for about 8 inches. So the next row, attach your first cord. The second cord. And our final cord. Tighten up your row. Tighten up the previous row by pulling on these ends. Tighten up the current row. As I've mentioned, do this for about 8 inches. After 8 inches of our Spanish hitching, we're going to establish 4 inches of the woven pattern. This middle part here is half the length of the two side ones. So to do our pattern, I moved my rubber band 4 inches away from my hitching. I take my first cord I attach a lacing needle and I'm going to establish an under 3 over 1 sequence so under 3 over 1 
under three. Over one. The second chord, we again attach a lacing needle We're going to come up in between our three unders here So, under one over one, then under three, over one, under three, over one, under three, and so on. So exactly the same sequence, but basically interlocking with the previous chord. So we get a nice checkerboard pattern. And the next chord pretty much does the same thing as our first chord. We're going to start under three. Over one, under three, over one, under three, and so on. So this is what we have so far. We now prepared seven additional pieces of gutted paracord, each about a foot long. Take a cord. Hitch it onto your top row. We 
By doing a hatch like this, you get a proper spacing between your vertical cords. In my case, I like to tack my cords down. Then follow the sequence of the second chord. So simply do what it does. So under one, over one, under three, over one, under three, over one, under three. So following the exact sequence of the second chord. Again, take a cord, attach it by hitching it onto the top row. Tack it down. And follow the first and the third chord doing the same sequence. So under three, over one, under three. over one, under three, and so on. So you can see that I'm following the third chord here, doing the same sequence. Take the next chord, hatch it onto your top row, tack it 
Tack it down. Continue the same sequence as this chord, this one, so under one, over one, under three. over one, under three, and so on. After doing your chords, line everything up by pulling on your chords. Straighten everything out. Then tack your ends in place. Continue by trimming the seven strands that you added on. So now, you have the long strand wrapping around your pedal remaining, plus the three long strands. Trim one of the long strands the furthest away from your wrapping cord. So this one we are also going to trim. We are left with two chords of one color and our wrapping chord.
take your three chords and start wrapping around like this for a length of 8 inches. Tuck your cords under the rubber band. Loosen up your wrap. If your wrap is too tight, the star triaxle is going to be harder to do. After loosening up our wrap quite a bit, we're going to prepare 12 pieces of gutted paracord. Four in our primary color, eight in our secondary color. These cords are a foot and four inches long each. Take a cord of your primary color Tuck one end under the rubber band at the bottom of the handle Weave under all of the cords of the same color. As you can see here, I'm doing it at a slight angle. Take a cord of the secondary color, tuck it alongside the first cord, like this. We're going to travel over to under one, over to under one, over to under one. Here, it is very important that you travel over these two color of chords and under this color of a chord. Take another cord of the secondary color Tuck it under the rubber band next to the second cord Like this 
This time we're going to travel over one, under one, then over two, under one, over two, under one, over two, under one. Again, it is very important that you travel over these two color of chords and under this color of a chord. So over two, under one, over two, under one. Over two, under one, and so on. After you set up your first three chords, we simply repeat. So again, we start with our primary color. We tuck it under the rubber band. We take a look at the sequence of our first chord and repeat. We take a chord of a secondary color. We take a look at the sequence of our second chord and we do the same thing. So we tuck our chord under the rubber band, then continue over two under one. Over two under one, over two, under one. Again, we take another chord of our secondary color. We tuck it under the rubber band. We take a look at the sequence of our third chord. So over one under one, over two. So over one, under one, over two. Then under one, over two, under one, over two.
so. At this point, we repeat the same sequence again. It's time to do the primary color once again. Now, if your chords get a bit too bunched up here, you can always push them together to add more. After using up all of our chords, we're going to prepare another set. This time, 15 chords of gutted paracord, 5 in the primary color, 10 in our secondary color. These chords are a foot and 4 inches each. Take a cord in your primary color, attach a lacing needle. Start on the very left of your weave. Find a pattern like this. So a lightning bolt or a Z shape with the horizontal primary cord and two parts of the secondary color. Travel under these at an angle, continue at an angle until you reach the same pattern again. Go under these as well. Continue again under these. Repeating our sequence until we reach the right side. Take a cord of a secondary color, start on the very left just above your first cord. Find this pattern, so again a lightning bolt or a Z shape with the top part 
so the vertical one being of a primary color and the other two parts being of a secondary color. Pass under like this, traveling alongside your first chord until you reach your pattern again. Again under and again all the way to the right. Take another chord of the secondary color. Again, start on the very left. This time we are looking for this pattern. So a lightning bolt or a Z shape with the bottom part, so the bottom vertical part being of a primary color and the other two parts being of a secondary color. So I'm going to pass under my pattern here, traveling alongside the second chord. Again under here, so under the same pattern, under again, and so on, all the way to the right. We have done one set of chords, one of a primary color, two of the secondary color. We now repeat. A chord of a primary color, we start on the very left, just above the third chord. If you take a look at the pattern under which our first chord goes, it is this one. So a horizontal chord of a primary color and two parts of a secondary color. So under here, Traveling alongside our third chord. And again, here, under the same pattern. And again.
and again traveling all the way to the right. We now take a chord of a secondary color Start on the very left doing the same sequence as our second chord So traveling under this pattern under this one here with the top part being of a primary color and the two other parts of a secondary color. Like this, traveling alongside the fourth chord. So under this pattern, then again under the same pattern here under again here and so on all the way to the right We take another chord of the secondary color Start on the very left doing the same sequence that the third chord does So under this pattern Under a pattern that has this bottom vertical part in the primary color and the two other parts in the secondary color. Try to start the leftmost that you can. So here, under this pattern, Continuing under here, alongside the fifth chord. Again here. All the way to the right. So, keep using up your chords until you have none left. So the next one is again going to be a chord of a primary color. You can already see the star pattern forming. 
we repeat the same sequence that the first and the fourth chord did. So under this pattern, After using up all of your chords, you have a nice looking weave. To improve the look, you may want to shift your stars a little bit. So you simply shape up your stars like this. Shifting your wrap. When you have a nice look for your stars, Tighten up your wrap by pulling on every single one of your chords. Do this on both sides. If you have any slack remaining at the center, pull it out. Like this towards the sides. I'm also tightening up the three chords wrapping around my handle. So the initial three. After cleaning up my wrap, so doing my tightening, I'm going to tape up the start and the end of my triaxle weave. So, these ends here and these ends can be cut off. Now to really secure my weave, I'm going to take my three long cords used to wrap around my handle So these three I'm going to nail down just to give my wrap a bit more security. The rest I'm going to cut off. I've cut all of the ends except the three long ones. I'm going to tack these down just to provide a bit more security. I 
लाइक दस We are now going to add in this optional yet quite decorative flat knot. Take two pieces of paracord, each about four feet long. Take one of your cords, move into your cord about a foot and a half. Make a loop. Pass over your loop. Under the standing end. Then weave over, under, over, under. So over, under. Over, under. Even out your knot, so that the three parts are about equal in size. Also make sure that the two ends are of equal length. So I'm going to work a bit of this end into the other end. Like this. Take your other cord. Line it up with your first end. Start doubling up your knot. So simply follow your end. Like this. Do any adjustment on your knot, then we're going to transfer it onto our pedal. Usually, I want this diamond shape here to be kinda symmetrical and I want the three parts to be of equal size. We now attach our knot. Place it on top of your pedal. Position it where you want it to be. Take your two sets of ends and wrap them around your pedal. Crossing at the back. Like this. Crossing at the front. And continuing on here under the rubber band. Make 
make sure that everything sits nicely. So something like this, then place a few tacks to hold your knot in place. First here, under these two cords at the crossing, to keep your tack out of sight. I like to tack here at the back as well. And here at the top you can also tack your cords in place. Trim your four remaining ends a bit away from your tacks. We now cover up the start of our wrap plus our first transition using a small tripled up Turk's head knot. So to do this, you're going to need a rubber band, five feet of paracorded, in my case, of the red color to make things easier to see. Finally, a lacing needle is going to be needed. Take your corded, attach your lacing needle onto one of the ends, tuck the other end under the rubber band. We're ready to tie our first Turk's head knot. To tie our knot, take your working hand, pass around, come over the standing hand. Pass around, over this strand, then under over. We now have three strands at the top. 
take the middle one, pass it over the right one. Like this. Take your working hand, pass under over. Make sure that this strand, so the middle one, passes over the left one. With your working hand, pass under over. Like this. This ties are not. Place your working hand alongside the standing hand. Now double up your knot, following the standing end through the knot. Once you reach the standing hand again, you have doubled up your knot. Move it to the exact location that you want your knot to be. So here, in between the two techniques. Make sure that the knot is fairly tight, so maybe tighten it up a bit. We now add in the third pass, which is going to bulk up our knot, plus give it a bit more tightness. So again, follow the standing hand and the second pass. Once you reach the standing end again, you have tripled up your knot. So like this. Take your working hand, pass it under the knot, so back under here, and exit on the right. Like this. This way, later on, you can more easily trim the two ends and hide them out of sight. Push the cut ends under the knot. We covered the two remaining sections using a slightly larger knot. To do this, 
we again need a rubber band, a piece of paracord 8 feet long, and a lacing needle. We attach our lacing needle onto one of the ends, we tuck the other end under the rubber band. To make things easier to see, I'm using a red color of cord. To tie our knot, wrap around, passing over your standing hand. Wrap around, passing over this strand. Then, travel the opposite to this cord. So, under over. Come around. Double up the standing hand. Under over. Travel the opposite to this cord, over, under, over. Come around and split these two parallel cords. Travel between them and do the opposite. Over, under, over. On the right, we travel the opposite to this cord. Under, over. Under, over. Place your working hand alongside the standing hand, tying your knot. Adjust your knot to the spot where you want it to be. Then double up your knot, following the standing hand using your working hand. When you double up your knot, again make sure that your knot sits where you want it to be. Tighten up the knot a little bit, starting at the standing end, going through the knot, removing slack.
After tightening up your knot, triple it up. Following the standing end and the second pass. When you tripled up your knot, pass your working hand under the knot to dry it. This way, the two ends are going to be easier to cut. Adjust your knot. Tighten it up again, going from the standing end through the knot, removing slack into the working end. Like this. Push your ends under the knot. Finally, Roll your knots under a plank. I also roll the triaxle weave. And that's our project. A paracord pedal wrap with a decorative flat knot at the bottom, the star triaxle, a woven pattern, partial Spanish hitching, and a bunch of Turk's head knots. I hope that I demonstrated all of the techniques clearly enough. Thank you very much for joining me, consider supporting the site on Patreon, and I'll see you next time.